Human Bites, Symptoms, Treatment, Causes and Outlook You might be surprised to learn that, yes, there's more than one type of human bite. Around 250,000 human bites are reported each year, among both adults and children minus 10% of children who are bitten develop an infection, resulting from bacteria found in human saliva, specifically aerobic and anaerobic bacteria. Bites to the face also account for a small number of overall cases, however they're very common among children under 10 years old. While children are most likely to suffer one of these injuries, they typically transmit less bacteria, leading to fewer infections in these instances. Human bites are exactly what they sound like, though they are a little more dangerous than you might think. Compared with other mammals, like dogs, bears and big cats, humans don't have the strongest bite, at 162 pounds per inch too. If you've been bitten on your finger and lose feeling in your fingertips or have trouble bending or fully straightening your finger, it's likely a sign that you've damaged some tendons and or nerves. You need to be very careful at this stage not to further damage the wound or the surrounding tissue. When should you see a doctor for a human bite? If you get bitten, especially on the hands or in a sensitive area, you should go to the doctor for an evaluation because of the high risk of infection and possible complications. Exam The doctor will ask you about your medical history, including your history of immunizations, allergies and, if any, your medications. Then they'll ask you about the bite itself, including how and when it happened and who bit you, and any info you may have about this person along with other important details that will help them determine how to treat your wound. The doctor will ask you about your medical history, including your history of immunizations, allergies and, if any, your medications. Then they'll ask you about the bite itself, including how and when it happened and who bit you, and any info you may have about this person, along with other important details that will help them determine how to treat your wound. Cleaning, the doctor will clean out and disinfect the wound again, before assessing it for any potential nerve, ligament, tendon and or bone damage. The doctor will clean out and disinfect the wound again, before assessing it for any potential nerve, ligament, tendon and or bone damage. Testing, the doctor may take tissue cultures from the site of the wound to analyze for infectious organisms. If they find symptoms of joint or tendon damage, or if the wound appears to be infected, the doctor may order a blood test or imaging tests, such as x-rays. The doctor may take tissue cultures from the site of the wound to analyze for infectious organisms. If they find symptoms of joint or tendon damage, or if the wound appears to be infected, the doctor may order a blood test or imaging tests, such as x-rays. In more severe cases, they may remove all dead tissue, debridement, followed by a skin graft to close the wound. Sometimes surgery is needed if there's a fracture, joint slash tendon damage or a severe infection. You'll need to follow up with your doctor in 24 to 72 hours, and even quicker if you begin noticing any signs of infection. What medications are used to treat human bites? Your doctor might prescribe medication for you, if needed. Who is at a higher risk of infection following a human bite? Are there complications from human bites? The risk of infection depends on the type of wound and its location, the general medical condition of the patient and the time that elapses between when the injury occurred and when it is treated. Bite wounds on the hands, upper limbs, nose and ear cartilage tend to pose more complications than those on other parts of the body. Even a seemingly minor injury can damage the underlying joints, tendons or bones, or lead to a serious infection. These infections might cause permanent damage to the affected part of the body unless they're treated quickly. For example, a closed fist bite can cause damage to the metacarpophalangeal MCP, joint, sometimes leading to arthritis. 
Human bite wounds can be very dangerous, largely due to the many types of bacteria transmitted through human saliva. Complications from a human bite can be very serious, including severe infection and permanently damaged bones, joints and or tendons. It's unlikely that a human bite will be fatal, especially if you seek out proper medical care, particularly around the infection.